Yeah. Oh. That's a slippy guy. Do you have slides? Uh, yes. Be yeah. Coming up Perfect. Can I just grab that and pass it over? Oh. Um, I think so. Yeah. Oh, so I don't need this? No, no, you need this. No, this. Thank you. Is that? Is that on? Yes. Thank you. And yeah, thanks very much for inviting me along to talk about the programs here. I too would just like to acknowledge the traditional uh, people of, the, of this uh, land that we're meeting on, the Boon Wurrung, the Naan, and the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. And I must admit, just in that acknowledgement, it's also worth reflecting on that um, those cultures have been around for 40,000 years and they've lived with uh, very little impact. They didn't have no impact, but they had uh, very little impact and what, on the environment around them. So what are we talking about today is, um, is the, the Solar Homes Program from Solar Victoria. Uh, as mentioned, my name's Guy Pritchard. I'm the Director of Incentive Programs for Solar Victoria. I'll make sure it goes that way. So just a bit about the, um, the, the Solar Homes Programs. We've, um, the Victorian government has invested about $1.3 billion in that transition to uh, affordable and clean energy. The program is, um, is a 10 year program and we're about four years into that program now. And it's to look at providing rebates to accelerate the transition in the uptake of renewable energies and into energy efficiency, energy efficient products. I'll just go through some of the, the, the core programs there. So, Eligible owner-occupier households um, can apply for $1,400 rebates to install rooftop solar systems. And there's also the ability to take another $1,400 as an interest-free loan. Uh, the, so that's for solar PVs. We have a $1,000 rebate uh, available to install solar hot water or energy efficient heat pump systems. And we have rebates as well for batteries um, $2,950 rebate for batteries and uh, that's eligible for um, rental providers as well and there's also a $1,400 interest-free loan to help reduce the costs of those installations there. So the, the program is really um, pitched at trying to accelerate that transition and to accelerate the uptake of renewable energies. Um, as I mentioned, we're four years into the program. We've seen over 208,000 applications and put in 1.2 um, gigawatts of capacity installed. So some of the achievements here. Um, yeah, there's close to $420 million of um, program rebates have been allocated so far over the four years. So it's Again, 220,000 homes have applications approved. I suppose the, the key one here for people who are looking at putting in a rebate, there's a, an annual saving of just over $1,000 per household for residential solar for PV. So there are, <coughs> are some real cost benefits in this as well as helping reduce the carbon there. Look through. Now, a bit more, it's not just about installing solar panels on roofs there. The, the idea really is to improve energy affordability and, and reduce the cost of living. And we've seen $850 million in economic benefit, and that accrues each year at the rate of about $90 million. So we're also about accelerating um, the, the safety and the quality of the systems over the program. So we've worked very closely with industry and with, um, with the builders, uh, sorry, distributors and the retailers to actually make sure that they've got um, the, the avenues they can to, to build that industry. As I mentioned, we're accelerating that transition, which is helping to reduce carbon um, and more than 1.2 gigawatts today. And we're building that really strong, skilled solar industry with over 4,000 jobs so far um, involved in this program. We've been uh, very keen to work with the regulators and work with the industry on safety standards and to ensure that the quality is kept high. So we do do an audit program. You can see there that we've done 8,000 odd audits um, and solar installer safety, safety um, audits. 
and part of that we audit 5% of our programs for solar PV and less than 1% of those come back with any issues. Uh, we're really proud to say that that's, that is the, the lowest level uh, of, of issues across the East Coast. We now have session Whoa. on the main stage and in Thank you. So why go solar? Please proceed this to the main stage and the seminar room for our next session. Thank you. So why go solar? It, different reasons for different people, but very many people uh, highlight the savings that they make and their, their ongoing savings once they're in there. So that you, these rebates are helping reduce the upfront costs, but you also have the, then the ongoing savings across the life of those panels. For some people, it's more about the environment and using natural energy. and the, the, the key really is, is to look at what your motivations are to, to do this, both environmental, but you actually also get those cost savings as well. Now we do know that there's 40,000 new builds a year in Victoria, and we've just recently, in the end of August, opened up our solar PV rebate scheme to new builds. Uh, previously, it was um, it was only owner occupiers and rental providers, and the um, build you had to have the building established beforehand. But now we've opened it up for new builds, and the, the expansion of this is really to take into account that sort of move towards a seven star requirement for buildings now for new home builds. There's a real new uh, awareness of electrification in in homes. We've got the emergence of all electric estates. And, and more importantly, because people were asking us if we could start their journey on that solar in that new build phase, both builders, the solar retailers, and the homeowners. So as of August, um, you can apply for that, and we're running that through now. The eligibility requirements um, are the same for the new builds program as they are for the existing owner-occupiers area. Uh, we have the, the key two Key, key criteria, you'll find more on our website, the key criteria are uh, households of $180,000 a year income and lower, and the, the home building has to be less than $3 million. The, the, the change to new builds, one of the key things too was you had to have proof of ownership of the house. For new builds, we're looking at uh, also taking certificate of title, and we've worked through that, we've worked we through that process that we're having to do that at the new build stage. So what are the benefits are? You can save $1,400 on the upfront cost of your solar PV system. You're also eligible for that $1,400 uh, no interest loan. You start saving from the, the minute that you move in. And as I pointed out before, the average savings are around about $1,000 per year. It does depend on the system size and how much you use. Uh, and the, the other benefits of doing it the, to the um, build stage is that it can be done a lot safer with the existing scaffolding in the building already up and you get the opportunity for the retailers to come through and put in some of that solar before the, the um, so they don't have to re-establish all the scaffolding and all the safety as well. So it's a much safer way to do it at that new build stage. So if you are building a new home and you're interested in the rebate, there are some real simple steps, uh, steps to follow. Check out our eligibility criteria on the Solar, uh, Solar Victoria website. You will need to use an authorised Solar Victoria, uh, Solar installer that's been authorised, and that list is on our website. Have a look at the Solar Panels Guide and just work through what, what size system is going to be best for you. And, uh, and learn a bit more about those products. And we have those uh, PV buyers guides on our website. And talk to the retailers, talk to the solar retailers. They'll be able to give you the, the best advice. You will need to work with your builder to gain consent and to determine when the products can come in and the best timing for installing those products. So it's going to be a, a conversation between you and the solar retailer and you and the builder about the best timing for that. And the builder has obviously got access to the site there, so it, the builder has to be involved in that conversation as well. So yeah, do your planning, understand that you, an understanding of the criteria and the processes. And once you're confident that you know where you're going to go, you'll need to talk to your builder as early as possible. 
during that planning, uh, the building planning stage. You'll go to an authorised uh, solar retailer and they will can provide you with a written quote. And if once you've um, ex accepted that quote, they will load it up into the Solar Victoria system and then you will get an email to generate the, um, the application from your end as well. So it's all managed through the Solar Victoria portal. And as mentioned before, the list of approved retailers can be found on our website. So where can you find out more? We have a stand over, um, over, over on the back there, stand, B, stand B8, just over the back in there. Come and talk to us in more detail about those programs and about how you can access that. You can also follow us for updates and announcements on those uh, website links that we've got listed there too. But the easiest way for you today is to just come over and have a chat. And I think that's it for me for now. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Thank you, Guy. Thank you so much. We'll just do that cheeky little uh, Take that off. Green exchange again. There you go. Thank you, my friend. Um, that was a really, really interesting and lovely speech. I, uh, my, my parents have got uh, solar panels, which I find really interesting. Um, it's good to see that they're getting more popular as well. I think there's only one problem with solar power panels. That's the fact that we live in Melbourne. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I find that difficult. I, um, and interesting as well, you know, like a beautiful mentioning of like our indigenous cultures that have been here for thousands and thousands of years. And, you know, we get a lot more cultures coming into our country all the time, which I find absolutely wonderful. And, you know, I was working at the Australian Citizenship Ceremony just a few weeks back. And there was a guy, about 15 minutes after the ceremony itself, he came up to me and he said, oh, he goes, I can't, I can't stay for the rest of the show because my back is playing up. And I was like, mate, you've been Australian for 15 minutes and you're already pulling a ziggy. One of us. And I love it. I love it. Um, we're getting through it today. It's really good. Um, I'm glad to see you all sitting in the crowd there. Uh, the next thing that we have up for you today and this is my first time ever experiencing something like this. We're having a live land and town home release. Um, I'm just going to check where our gentleman is that present is presenting it. Um, so the, the live land and town home release is from Ev Evoke Town Homes in South Morang.